Welcome back to Room Break, episode two. Kind of looks like boobs. Is that just me? Boobs that you separate and then jump through for an adventure? Yeah, so boobs. Right, yeah. That you can get at Walgreens. <laughs> What's with the perspective in this room? Is that just a photo taped to the wall or the actual room? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't see anything wrong with this room's <laughs> perspective at all. Well, we are in the memory world, so anything is possible. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. All right, remember to tell him this is the second murder scene check. Yep, showing up in your memories. Uh, oh, that you were brought here for? I don't crime scene investigation or a date? <laughs> I don't think cops do this. Why is the corpse still here? It's a fair question. <laughs> well, your memory just got kind of fucked up. <laughs> I don't see a corpse here. Are you sure you don't mean a flower pot and the table? Maybe he means the corpse of art. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. By corpse, I meant that cut-off jump rope on the right. It is kind of like you're off from a time machine. <laughs> I'm not sure what era this would be, but yeah. <laughs> Do you know this guy? She motions toward the VHS cassette on the table. <laughs> is the body cremated in that urn? <laughs> so I'll tell you what it really is, if you're interested. The body's off-screen on the left, but room break... I don't know why they point you to the right, away from it, so you're like, what the fuck is anyone talking about, but... Let's see. Anyone know the mark? We, unless you're a stupid dog. Don't call Dr. Alice a stupid dog. <laughs> no, she's saying he's saying anyone would have known how this body was murdered, unless mm. you're a stupid dog. Ah, yes, of course. Right. Alright, so, let's... Wow, that, that fire extinguisher is so cozy. <laughs> It's just oh, annoying. Oh, hey, there's the, there's the body. Yeah, there's the don't worry body. About it. Yeah, no doubt. Yep. Ah, that's not necessary. Anyway. No, he's trying to high-five the corpse. Oh, the window. Remember, the window has important things in the dream world. Hmm. Are you, have your memories been copy-edited? <laughs> that's not even funny. Come on. No, well. you were, I'm expecting some good jokes like blood clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's try the very old fire extinguisher. Uh, no, it's actually a television. doesn't work. <laughs> it's been broken down, I'm afraid. Why do you need to put out the fire? I don't know. Now, um, we have a code here. Wow, this is iPod Gen <laughs> point one. All right, we can't uncover that with our hands, so what else can mm. we do here? Dispose of the corpse and hide evidence. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take the box cutter, right? Of course. Right, it's used to cut things, obviously. Such as fires. Now let's slash at the picture mounted on the wall in a very specific way, okay? <laughs> I can't stand these puzzles, but, um... Dr. Ellis has her head buried in her hands. <laughs> this guy's hopeless. Oh. Hmm? Here we go. Here's something. They seem anime. Oh, I'm so sick of this room. Uh, hey, what do you got down there? Uh oh. Does that say you arrest? Weird. <laughs> so you get the um You get this terrible puzzle, right? The uh, memory of the waifu puzzle? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, um You follow the punch in where her eyes were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is very. This is a very strange memory of murder. <laughs> okay, so um, we have a drill, which is good. So we're halfway there. Um, I guess they wanted another puzzle to get the other half of the drill because you need batteries to operate it, right? Yeah, but they used all their budget on the animated. Yeah, exactly. So the one key just opens two locked things. So I don't even know why they really bothered, but mm. there you have it. So we'll, let's mix a drill and a battery. Now, you might wonder what that cylinder is on the wall, by the way. It... oh. It's water. It's a fish tank, specifically, but there's a no fish. fish tank? But that's a fish tank, yeah. Okay. Are you doubting that that's a fish tank? No. I thought it was a Metroid save capsule. I thought it was something like that, too. Alright, so, since there's no, no doors or anything, we're gonna put out the fire with the pot of water, right? Uh-huh. But unfortunately, there's a chimney with some bottom rungs broken. Well, that's where you escape the room. You jump a little bit. 
I don't know that chimneys actually have ladders like that, though. No, they do. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's put the chair in the fireplace. <laughs> Please, have a seat. And then we'll use That's that it. to... Yeah, we boost ourselves up and uh, we get out. And you left a mess behind? Yeah. Corpse? The water? Hey, don't sass me. Okay. Oh, well, suddenly I have a grade for room four. How about that? Oh, um, wow, nice job. Thanks. Anyway, mm. so let's do room four. Um, <laughs> at Walgreens, you can purchase extraordinary ability. Not a very comfortable sleeping position. <laughs> Damn it, this room's perspective's even worse than the last one. Damn it, got drunk again. <laughs> I really didn't want to remember this place. Did you remember to pick up your drugs from Walgreens? Makes life easier. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of this place. <laughs> that I just saw. In fact, the cops were so sick of it, they were interrogating me here. Then they were like, let's take a break and go to the crime scenes. What do you say? And if you want a nap here, you know, fine. Yeah, whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, what made them bring us here instead? Because... Oh. Yeah, I don't know that that's really you, the you case. You keep telling yourself that. I know, even I'm starting to doubt him now. Oh, look at that. Damn. But how else will we prove your innocence, even though I think we're kind of doing the opposite? Is it going to turn out that you haven't even been hypnotized this whole time? Oh my god, and what, she was just taking us to all these places? Yeah, Whoa. she's a tour guide. Yeah, that's right. Equal opportunity jerk. <laughs> All right, Dr. Alice, anyway. So this is this is the last room, according to her, okay? Which season of the real world? <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, let's grab a club. Cool. And so this, so Room Break has a little bit of a switcher upper go thing going on here. Um, first of all, we have this weird blue screen with, with different kinds of skulls. This is a uh, science fair project. We're seeing the top six. Yeah. So the trick is, you see that number 6412? Is uh -huh. you have to rem remember which skull, like, corresponds to which... You uh, throw those skulls out the door in that order and it opens. Exactly right. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So that panel is nothing but the golden key. Uh, we don't need that, so we'll just take a wrench, undo some pipe, just like when we were interrogated. Okay. Soon you'll collect all of the clue murder weapons. <laughs> Then it'll be impossible to prove your innocence. <laughs> cool. Now, I, always, I do like that goofy screw skull, by the way. I, I think numbers are just simpler. <laughs> no, this one like, makes, makes you write down shit. In the future, people don't learn to count. <laughs> See, I think Room Break confuses better puzzles for more pain in the ass puzzles. <gasps> oh, God, a different room. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's... But you uh -oh. escaped the first room, so... Di huh? <gasps> well, that is what you were doing at the start of this puzzle. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's actually... Yeah. Oh, my God. Could your memories be not completely honest with you? Oh, no. That is impossible. It's almost like the title of this was Memories of Murder. <laughs> You may have had a pack of lies when you're being interrogated. I picked that up along with a pack of cigarettes at Walgreens. Wait a minute. Oh, man. I hear this is how they do all those false confessions, is by hypnotizing you and making you escape rooms. It's extraordinarily expensive. <laughs> Not at all worth doing, honestly. Right. Honestly. Thankfully, Keith7230 is too, too smart for that. <laughs> It'll never be turned down by the trick? Hmm. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Whatever you say, even though I don't completely understand it. All the truth. Then why am I doing the hypnosis if the truth is already waiting for me? <laughs> All right, look. <sighs> Let's plug in the PC. Now, you see there's three oh, safes God. on the wall. Yeah. We don't have enough skulls for these numbers. 
This is an annoying one. The trick is kind of like, um, if you look, all the rows and columns add up to 30, I think. So the idea is you find out what number is missing that would make 30 in each row and column, and that corresponds to green, red, blue, yellow. Okay. Which and where do B and C come in to the picture? B and C are two separate puzzles to get these, uh, mm -hmm. to get the other two safes, more is it or really less. really worth it for the truth to be revealed? Not really, no. Yeah. I really think Room Break got kind of lazy here, honestly. <laughs> Notice, too, by the way, I've been doing everything pretty much right, but I've still lost a bar of health because just doing things loses your health. But. Such as progressing. Exactly. This it's one really you just. the Dark count. Souls of Room Break games. <laughs> no, it really is. This one you just count the number of things on the bottom, like, oh, there's six of the first kind of star, and there's like five of the second kind, and then five of the. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. That one, that one's even easier than the first one, so I felt like they were really running out on that one, but... So you've played a lot of these sorts of games. Have you had dreams of being in Escape the Room situations that are equally as confusing? I think it's no surprise that when we did that real Escape the Room thing in Austin that we got through so quickly, and yeah, so and cool. I'm the one who solved everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then you woke up. Mm-hmm. By the way, this is the exact same puzzle at the first, only it's kind of radial and everything adds up to 18. I know, it's Is this a darts board or puzzle? <laughs> I just want to throw things at it. <laughs> no, I, I feel the same way, but... Skulls, mostly. Yeah. Now, fortunately, um, once we do that, we get our third piece of a gear, and you might be wondering where... Or wheel. I mean, Slobby, this room has me inclined to not believe a thing you say. <laughs> I'm getting subtle hints. So, we're gonna do that. And finally escape the room by doing this. Don't forget to iron the table before you leave. <laughs> you know what's weird? The graphics are really good. Or, not really good, but like... They're at least, like, have some effort put into them, and then you look at those dials for the first, second, and third gear, and you're like, oh, that's well, that's where they got the intern to do it, I guess. Gotta make cuts in some places. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's room break, you know? We got, mm -hmm. can't break an om you can't make an omelet without breaking a few rooms. Okay, crunch is real. Yep. Hooray. What is in the tiny storage container? <laughs> Tinier? Is, I don't know, actually. Yeah, tinier room, actually, to break. Yeah, a tinier room. <laughs> Escape from the most adorable room yet. 